What's up guys, it's your boy coming back with another video up here in Massachusetts. So, get a lot of things, a lot of, uh, a lot of questions and comments and emails and hot shot, what should I do? I want to get into transport. I'm driving a big truck. Uh, I, I hate my job. I don't want to do this. Or, hot shot, I need a new... I want to be, I want to do what you do. I want to be like you. I'm going to drive around the country. I, you know, that's what they tell me. So what should you do? What is the first step you should take? What should you haul? What should you drive? So what I think you should do is A, get a CDL. A CDL is the credentials to prove you you can drive a truck you're a truck driver so get trucking credentials and here's why i say that trucking credentials let you do whatever you need to do you can haul whatever you can pull whatever you can use any trailer any truck any of that so we are in a new time. It is very, very hard for non-CDL car haulers. Very, very hard. Because I want you to think about this. You're running a two-car trailer. I'm running a four slash five car trailer. So everybody says, don't haul cheap freight. What is cheap freight? If I put four 60 cent a mile cars on here, making money. You can't haul 60 cent a mile cars. If you can, you're probably not going to be in business much longer. So you need to set yourself up for when times fall. When times aren't as good. It's it's not about how much money you make when you're on top of your game. I mean, yeah, that money is great. It's what can you sustain? How much money can you make all the time? I've been out two weeks. Uh, I think I was at like 11.5 for two weeks on 12 cars, something like that. So you need to be able to succeed in the hardest of times. Anybody can succeed when the market's through the roof. Anybody can run and succeed and make great money at $3 a mile and not save it and, you know, buy this, buy that and go on vacations and live lavishly and all that stuff, right? Anybody can do that. Anybody can do it. But when rigoroni hits, when rates drop, when the cars go away, like right now, we're at probably a third of what's normally on the board. A third. A third of what's on the board. Maybe 25%. So that's when it gets real. And what are you going to do? What are you willing to do? Are all your eggs in one basket? Are you only running East Coast? Well, what happens when the East Coast dies? Are you only running Midwest? What happens when that dies? You know, so it, it's all about planning, proper planning. So let's get back on topic. You get your CDL. Get a CDL. It, it's that simple. Now you can get a CDL. And you can still start with a hot shot rig. You can start with a pickup truck and a three car wedge. Now I would recommend a cheaper three car wedge. You don't go out and buy a brand new three car wedge. Don't do it. Now you wanna make sure you buy a properly used one, like a, uh, not properly, I'm sorry, a, um, a well-maintained used one. You don't want a 1990. But 
three, four, five thousand dollars for a trailer, that's the way to do it. Trailer, in my opinion, trailers are expendable. Like, because they're so cheap, there's nothing really to them. You know, so a trailer is your bread and butter, but you need to be able to move on the trailer. So, most people wonder why I ran a three-car wedge as long as I did. Because I wasn't ready to move up. Didn't find the right opportunity. But as soon as it come along, boom. You know? Be and I could do that because I didn't have a big loan. I didn't have negative equity in my trailer. It was paid off. It was a cash trailer. I could park it out back and be done with it if I needed to. Now your trucks, you don't move up as much, you know, you and they're more expensive. So you can finance your trucks if you need to. I finance this one and the next one may or may not. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens coming up. So your trailer is what you need to be able to hustle around and move, in my opinion. The trailer is where you grow your income. Like I could go right now and get rid of that truck and buy a semi. Is it gonna make me any more money? No. I can get rid of this trailer and buy a four, five, six, seven car and it may make me more money. But a truck will not make me more money unless I already have a bigger trailer, but I'm not running at capacity. So your trailer is the one you need to be able to get in and out of quick. Now, when you find the right one, like I did, it's okay to finance. This is a $25,000 trailer used. Who's going to pay 25 grand cash? I wouldn't um, because I can put that money somewhere else and make more money with it. So get yourself the CDL. Then I would recommend getting a big truck. The, these pickup trucks are great, but what happens with the pickup trucks is you wear them out way, way too fast. You run 100,000 miles on them, 200,000 miles, they're going to start nickel and diming you. Well, if you financed it, you're still, you still owe money. You're upside down. You've got negative equity. You can't just park a thousand dollar truck note out back. You can't park a thousand dollars out back for a year, for six months, for eight months. You can't do it. If you can do it, then you probably don't need to be in a business because you're independently wealthy, got money coming out your ears, and life is great. So you've got to be able to move around. And if you get your CDL, don't start with the smallest truck possible. Everybody knows what I say, scale, scale, scale. Scale your business. <clears throat> what that means is, does it have scalability? Can you move up in your business? Is there room, is there potential for growth? So that's, um, that's what I would do. I would start out, get your CDL, get you a decent truck, but first you gotta figure out what you wanna haul and what trailer you're gonna use. So, that's what I would do. I would I would not start non-CDL in this market. It's hard enough. And I don't know, and nobody knows what this new normal that I'm running from and a lot of other like-minded individuals. I don't need a new normal. I don't need you to tell me what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and all that. But that's a totally different subject. That's that. So, guys... Start, when you start this business, think long term. Don't think I'm going to buy a CD, I'm going to buy a pickup truck with two-car trailer and I'm going to make a mill. Because you ain't. Unfortunately, 
It's not going to happen. So, guys, the best thing you could do to start in this business right now, take your time. Start it right. There's a reason there's an 80% failure rate. There's a reason that most people don't make it past their first year. It's their mindset and it's pure poor planning. Poor planning will put you in the dirt quicker than anything else. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. That's what I would do if I was starting today. If I had to do it differently, that's what I would do. Um, the, the market is just not sustainable for the CDL anymore. There's just not enough uh, profit margin because there's guys like myself that can run 60 cent a mile cars, be profitable. And I'm sorry to bust your bubble but I am not going to run this 4 slash 5 car all around the country looking for dollar a mile cars. I'm going to put one, one dollar a mile car, 90 cent a mile car, and then I'll do 60 and 70 the rest. That That's what works for me, and that's how I've been successful. So, that's my opinion on that. That's how I would get into it. That's how I would start. Don't. You don't need to run. You need to crawl before you crawl before you walk, walk before you run. Research, research, research. So, all right, guys, that's my opinion on that. Like, share, subscribe. If you need, if you want to learn how to truck, be successful and make money, hit the little bell over in the corner right underneath it here. We call that the ding dang. Uh, hit that to get notifications when I uh, go live, when I drop videos. When I do what I do. So we will see you tomorrow. Peace.